All right, this is the question 28.10. So they give us a element at this point, five millimeters in the y direction with a current that's also in the y direction. And then they give us a new point in the x and z direction. And they want the magnetic field at this point. So usually when we're doing magnetic field, we use this B equation and you end up getting like this velocity times this position. We don't have a velocity, so we can't use that. What we can use is dd. Still doesn't get you the magnetic field, it's just a different equation. This is the same mu naught over 4 pi times the current dl cross r over r cubed. And you might have seen this like dl cross r or r hat over r squared, but it's the exact same thing as this r. That's what I have written. Same thing. Um, but the most important thing is that now we do not have velocity, we have current and dl, which is what we're given in this problem, so we can actually use it. So the first step is to just go ahead and write down what we have. So mu naught over 4 pi is just the negative 7, so 4 pi's cancel out. Our current for me is 5.6 amperes, and then I'm going to put this big thing because we're doing the cross product. So dl, we got 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative third. This is in the j direction. We're crossing that with our r, which is in two different directions. 7, 3 in the i direction, 0 0.39 in the k direction. Do watch your units. They give you some in meters, some in millimeters. Um, and then all of that is divided by r cubed. So r cubed, you cannot just cube these individual numbers. You got to make r into a single number. So 0 0.73 squared plus 0.39 squared, and then that whole square root cubed. That's how we're doing this. So basically the most difficult part is figuring out what to do with that cross product. So 10 to the negative 7 times 5.6. And then if you simplify out this square root, a to h cubed. So then you got to do the cross product, and we're going to keep our parentheses there so we make sure that we're doing it right. And another 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative third times negative 0 0.73 in the negative k direction. You see how we got that? That's j times i, and j cross i is negative k because i cross j is positive k. And then we're adding that over to the cross product of the second half, 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative third times 0 0.39. And this time we have J cross K, which just gets you a nice positive I. So now we have this the point you got to do is factoring it out, which is why I kept these big parentheses. So we're taking this and we're basically distributing it to this first one and to the second one, and then dividing each of those by the point 828 cubed. So there's this plus sign. So we gotta treat them as independent things. So you end up getting with my numbers 1.926 times 10 to the negative 10 in the i direction. So that came from actually the second part. And 3.6 times 10 to the negative 10 in the k direction. But they do want this in a specific format. So it would be like comma zero for the j direction because you have nothing there. And that would be your answers. And this is all in Tesla's. This was magnetic field. And there you go.